when you're reviewing the contract, and we're good at when we pick up the contract, we'll look for the amount, right? And we'll usually look for the term. So mm-hmm. if they told us a three-year contract for twenty-five thousand dollars, we're looking for three years and twenty-five thousand overlooking everything else in the contract, mm-hmm. right? But sometimes I want to make sure that you understand some of those other important terms, right? For example, the um, so if they in the a contract, it tells you that the term is three years, but it may be terminated by either party upon 30 days notice. So you don't have a, 30, a, a three-year three contract. contract. You, you really have a 30-day 30 contract, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's important to understand that that you don't just review the term without reviewing termination as well. Mm-hmm. And a good attorney may have other termination uh, provisions, but they may differ and may not actually be in the termination section. <laughs> Hey, everybody out there for Eye to Eye. This is Garrett and Sita for Idea to Invention. And we are back with Karen Mills of Mills Law, as well as of Miss Jenny's Treats. (laughs) So an engineer, degree from Georgia Tech, law school, University of North Carolina, Chapel Uh Hill. Esquire. Esquire. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur with uh, Miss Jenny Treats. Mm -hmm. And an educator as an adjunct professor at Emory Law. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Exhale. <laughs> right, right. Exhale. So with all that, mm-hmm. um, man, there's just so much I want to talk about. Hey, I'm a small business, right? And, and I, I come to you, um, and I'm just starting out. Where do you start? As far as saying, all right, Garrett, this is this is this is where you need to go. This is how we need to start building out your plan. Okay, so one of the first things, if you haven't formed an entity, that it means, in other words, you have registered your business with the Secretary of State and being recognized as a legally registered entity within that state. Mm -hmm. um, I always suggest talk to your business tax accountant because to me. Choosing the type of entity is truly a financial based decision. And as a corporate transactional attorney, I'm not giving you financial advice. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want you Mm -hmm. to start there. Mm -hmm. Right. And they are going to be in a better position to know where you are financially right now and where you want to be. Gotcha. Okay, and then usually they give the best suggestions about the type of entity. And then once you have that information, then I say, come back to me and I can help you in forming the entity registering with the secretary of state, as well as preparing all the necessary corporate documentation that goes along with it. Okay. So usually that's the first step. Okay. And then sometimes when I have folks that come in and they have like, I have 10 ideas. I'm like, let's slow it down. Right, let's right. Just focus on one. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> because do you realize how much time and energy and resources it's to going to take one. to do that one. Yeah. Right. So yeah. not the dream killer, not trying to do that, mm-hmm. but trying to be practical. Okay. Yes. So how, because when, when, when folks want to start a business or they have an idea, um, it in itself is intimidating. Mm-hmm. Then having to go to either a CPA or really an attorney, right, that kind of takes your brain to a whole different level. Like, okay. First mm-hmm. of all, you automatically think, I can't afford any of this. Right, right. right. So how do, you, how do you ease that type of, like once they come in the, once they've get, lowered their fear factor and actually gotten <laughs> to mm-hmm. give you a call and get the appointment, right. how do you like massage that relationship? Okay. Or begin that relationship because there's always an intimidation factor. Right. I and, and I get that quite often. Right. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, well, how do I start a relationship with an attorney? I'm like, you just talk with one. Right. Mm-hmm. But I guess because I am an attorney and I know so many, it's nothing to us. Right. But I have to realize that other people may not know that. Mm-hmm. So some of the ways, like, for instance, I right now I partner up, serve as a legal consultant with uh, Fulton County. Right. And what they do, the procurement department recognize what they want to have is more people who are able to or more business to be able to bid on uh, the Fulton County projects or either you just buy products from. Mm-hmm. But what they realize a hindrance is the fact that usually those businesses don't have a good legal foundation nor a good bonding foundation. So what happens is they usually offer a what? Bonding Foundation. Yes. Explain what that is. Well, and, and in that, you know, sometimes let's just go typically in the construction in- industry. Uh huh. 
they are requiring that a particular business be, be bonded, bonded gotcha. right? In other words, we want to make I sure you that like you can insurance. complete right, that. Right, right. 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 Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and it's not insurance, right? Because with bonding, you know, they'll pay, but you have to pay them back. Right. right. Okay. Yep. But because Fulton County recognizes that need, they are one of the few municipalities, if not the only one, that really offers a one-hour consultation session with me as well as a one-hour consultation session with the bonding person. Wow. Now, in order to participate in those, you have to end up uh, attending one of the Fulton County information sessions. Okay. And, that, and then usually there, they'll take your business card, and then they'll also offer the service, and then you can participate in that. So do you have to be a, a company registered within or doing business well, in they Fulton want you County? to be in they not necessarily at that time but they want you to become and registered yes right, right. and then oh. become certified as well okay. right but I mean oh. that's what your goal should be anyway right because right. you want to try to have as many opportunities as you can right and what I don't understand sometimes is when people are offering those types of services people won't take advantage of them right ah. a lot of and, times people don't know that's, well but see but then they can't say that once they've attended the session right because they're gonna offer it during, during that the time session. right and right. See, people gotta, still won't take advantage of it really yeah oh yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. I know you're all looking like you can't believe. I mean, it can be a room of 100 people and you might get, you know, uh, so many out of that to um, contact you. And then sometimes, of course, we do follow up. Uh huh. And when we do follow up, people will typically, OK, now schedule me for the session. But it is, it is amazing. So you got to go after them. And yes. St- to, to, and so that is one way to get introduced to an attorney. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. Um, and the other thing, because I was just talking with one of my colleagues um, yesterday, her name is Deborah Bailey, and she does real estate. Mm-hmm. Law. And that's another area that and she was talking yesterday about the fact that a lot of people are getting caught up in uh, real estate fraud and not understanding certain things. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I want to we got to educate people. So she and I. Um, I think it's going to be in April when we're going to host um, a session and it'll typically be at my office and it's going to be at an economical rate where you'll have access to both of us. Mm-hmm. One giving us, uh, we'll give some presentation time period and then we're going to have question answer time period. And that's another way that you get familiar with attorneys mm-hmm. um, outside of what some people may actually think, you know, criminal and personal injury attorneys. Right, I'm right. like, there are so many of us out here that are out here to be able to help you and your business succeed. Mm-hmm. Um, I also am going to plan to partner up with the intellectual property attorney so that people can know better Lord about copyrights, trademarks, mm-hmm. patents. Uh, mm-hmm. I also plan to partner up with the employment lawyer mm-hmm. as well. So if we need guidance about that, the independent contractor yeah. versus employee. I'm also going to partner up with uh, Bernard Coleman mm-hmm. with the securities. We're going to do one on that because people think, oh, let me just get people to invest in my business. But you don't understand you that that may that trigger print, all right. of the securities laws. Yeah, right, like, right. well, I'm not a public traded company. That you don't have to That'd be, be right? right? <laughs> so it's, but it's, what money. we want to do is try to educate the public about all of these resources out here so that, one, you'll know that what we do. Right. And that's another reason why I say <clears throat> you need to, uh, one of the pitfalls of um, with respect to small businesses is a failure to engage legal counsel mm-hmm. yeah. because your legal counsel to me should be a trusted advisor. Right. Okay. Exactly. And right. when a trusted advisor, that means you come to me. I, I'm, I, I practice corporate transactional. So I'm looking from forming your business to help you sell in the business. And a lot in between is usually contract review, negotiation and drafting. Mm-hmm. But there are certain contracts that I'm not going to get into. Right. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if it involves intellectual property, entertainment law, I need to get you to that particular right. type of attorney. Uh, if it's some er- aspects of like employment, Employment law, you need to get to an employment lawyer. And what I can do is refer you to those mm-hmm. because I have a network of colleagues. Right. And sometimes, you know, it was funny. Somebody called last week with a real estate question. I referred them to Deborah and Deborah ended up uh, just helping the person and didn't charge them anything. When that, you know, And she just had such a good heart. But she also says it was such a quick answer, answer to something. Right, right. But, but you the know, thing is, it could have been devastating to that person exactly. if they did not ask. That's right. And that's exactly what she said. And I said, in this way, it introduces that person to mm-hmm. like, okay, because when this person contacted me, she was like, oh, I signed a lease on December 27th. And I'm thinking, really? And today is January the 15th and you are calling me after the fact, right? <laughs> kind of like, mm, not <laughs> a good thing, right? Uh-huh. And that's what happens a lot of times. I get called after the fact. Right, when you're in the mess right. already. Right. And it's right. like you have to be proactive. I mean, why not reach out, yeah. call me beforehand, and mm-hmm. that way at least I can get you, especially to a real estate attorney when you're doing a lease, right? Mm-hmm. Because there are going to be certain things you're not going to, you're so excited about getting inside mm-hmm. that building, mm-hmm. and you're not thinking about things that, what if it's uh, rezoned, yeah. and mm-hmm. now you can no longer do what you thought you were going to make money, how are you going to pay that lease, right? Mm. Or do you have time 
uh, periods associated with if there are problems mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how long will it take the landlord to fix it? And if they don't feed right. it by, fix it by a certain time, then what are the, you know, what, what are the ramifications regarding right, something like right, that? So right. it's things like that that you may not be thinking about because you're so excited about getting in the building, right. but you also need to be thinking long term, mm -hmm. right? And so that's a lot of times what the value in an attorney is because we're seeing these pitfalls. Mm -hmm. And so I know a lot of times they're like, you want me to be thinking about getting into a written agreement, you know, with my father and mother? Yes. OK, yes, because my <laughs> thing is prudent business people and people of integrity never have a problem putting what they say in writing. writing never. Right, right. So if anybody ever has a problem putting something in writing, that's a that's red, a red flag. flag right there. Right. Right. I wondered if, 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 if it factors in that a lot of people are afraid to admit what they don't know that they don't know yes and especially in front of like that landlord yeah you come in and you think you know right oh, uh, you think it's the same right. kind, of, kind of agreement that you would have for or your even apartment just, or thinking that if i act if i present myself as that i'm questionable about this about this arrangement will he back off will he you know what i mean what right. just admitting the fact that you don't know or even if you do say, I don't know, and you want to seek outside counsel, is that going to cancel the deal mm -hmm. or something like that? Yeah. yeah. And you so. have that. And then you also have when you are in those environments um, mm -hmm. where it may be question and answer time and people will not raise their hand because it's like, they're I'm not go they're afraid. afraid to and so to be able to address things like that, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing a couple of webinars, mm -hmm. right? And I'm recording the pre-recorded webinars. One I'm doing that's going to be a free one about the legal pitfalls, right? Mm -hmm. Just so you'll be aware of those. But then some other ones like comprehending the corporate minute book. That will be a paid one, but it also be a cost effective one where you can watch it at any time and then you can learn all about what is what are the contents of the corporate minute book. Yeah. Yeah, because we need to. Exp yeah, we need yeah, to we get, talk get about some. That. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need to explain. Because <laughs> <laughs> but you, I didn't even know there was a corporate right. minute book, and right. I'm like, and I know we don't have one. <laughs> right. Well, you know what's so funny about that? Uh, someone from one Fortune 500 company reached out to me a, a few years back. And, you know, and, and for this particular Fortune 500 company that's located in Atlanta, everybody likes wants to do business with them. Mm -hmm. And what she said was she found that um, when she's sitting across the table from them and she says something like corporate minute book, she says she sees their eyes and they look like deer in headlights mm -hmm. because she knows they don't, they don't understand. know what that is. And she said what she really wants to tell them, what she doesn't at that time is to say, you know what, if you don't understand what a corporate minute book is, you're not hardly going to get a contract with us. Oh, right. Snap. So, yeah, right. we need to talk right. about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> but and, and just a little snippet, right? Because of course the webinar will be coming out once we find out. Right, right. You can't it. give away right. all the But goodies. I actually brought in mine. Okay. Right? Okay. We're gonna get into this as soon okay. as we get back. I can't mm -hmm. wait. You ain't right. gonna get all of it, you're gonna get some you're of it. You're gonna get some of it. Right. At least you won't be able to look like <laughs> right. like, like, like a deer in the headlights. Like, like, when you hear that uh <laughs> that phrase again. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in a few minutes of with um now I keep on wanting to say Sister Mills well, with Karen, Karen Mills, Mills Esquire <laughs> <laughs> and the Corporate Minute Book. We are Cita and Garrett from I to In Idea to Invention. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, this is Garrett and Cedar with Idea to Invention on this great, great late winter day. Is it late winter? I guess it is. It's February. It is. It's late winter yeah. day. You know, here, since we're here not in Metro Chicago, ATL. You, right? Once we're not in Chicago anymore, right, it's we ain't like freezing. <laughs> still fall. Oh, <laughs> spring's right. around the corner, right? <laughs> but we are um, we're here with with uh, with Karen Mills of uh, Mills Law and. Uh, Jenny Treats as well, uh, Miss Jenny, Jenny Treats. Mm -hmm. um, and in the last segment, now look, y'all, look, I, I'm not going to charge y'all for all this wisdom and these not, these nuggets that he might not Sister be. Mills is <laughs> dropping for y'all. I think I need to be with Sister Mills' agent, <laughs> get 10%. <laughs> you got to go through me right, to get to her. Right, right, right. <laughs> 
But it is clear that we're going to have to have Sister Mills back, back again because right. there, there's so much from a legal perspective that we need to share mm -hmm. and people need to know, um, even on the surface. And so in the last segment, I, I wanted to make the statement that uh, so Sister Mills had mentioned that she has a network of other attorneys that specialize in certain things, um, whether it's real estate, whether it's uh, securities, whether it's IP, and based on your business, um, you're going to need to understand that you won't have just one attorney. Right. Um, you'll have a network of attorneys. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the, the, the great thing about having Sister Mills in your corner is that she has this fabulous network. Were you about to say something? To you? And you should be, be leery of an attorney that thinks he's a one-stop shop. That's oh, the thing that's right. that yes. I was, that's yes. the thing yeah. that it's like, okay. Yes. I was relieved when, when we went to her, what was it about the, the, what we're doing now? Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know what? This is not my lane, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I know somebody who drives right. that lane frequently. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> here you go. Right. Here and that go. was right. That was, right. that was so much. That was. Well, and, and, that and, and, and that's, that's what I was going to say mm -hmm. that from, from our personal experience. Right. So sister Mills has, has guided us number one on our contract items issues number two she's led us from a real estate perspective because mm -hmm. her real estate her real estate attorney contact we worked with when we first oh, when we got, got in the building mm -hmm. oh look at you mm -hmm. i didn't even realize and that see uh, that's what the woman. ceo that's does that's come on yeah that's what you do that's yeah do. that's exactly because so i didn't have to worry about you didn't that. have to worry about that <laughs> right and then third in this in this new venture that we're going with mm -hmm. with an sec sec attorney so it's just I'm just speaking from experience that it, it's it's very valuable to have that an in your attorney corner. like Sister attorney Mills, like Sister Mills in your corner. Mm -hmm. So Mills Law, y'all. Mills Law LLC, right? That's LLC. correct. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So let's. You also mentioned about um, the, the corporate, the corporate minute, minute book, right? Mm -hmm. And both and it, it doesn't both look like it's just a minute. No, <laughs> it, 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 it is a minute. <laughs> And so, and both C and I were like, uh, okay, mm -hmm. wait a minute. And so, can you please dive into what the Corporate Minute book is? Yes. Okay. And as I stated, I'm doing a webinar on these, right? right. So, so, I will she's provide all of that so answer, much. just snippets. And also, I guess you know us as attorneys, we always have to put disclaimers out there, right? So, I guess the short version of the disclaimer is that the information that I'm providing you today and the advice is not to be... Um, what is it? So in other words, you need to make sure that you still engage your own mm -hmm. legal counsel. OK, yeah. mm -hmm. so that's the bottom line. OK, and that's the short version. <laughs> now, corporate minute booking. And I think I mentioned to you about the Fortune 500 company where um, when she says that word, sometimes people sitting across from her may not understand it. And I think what I find during my uh, initial consultation sessions, when I start talking to small businesses, what I realize typically you're, got, you're filing the documentation yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. As far as the name reservation, if you're doing that, if you're trying to secure the name or if you're filing your articles of organization or your articles of incorporation, likely. Yes. Right. And then usually what happens is you stop after mm -hmm. that. You file that and now you're moving <laughs> full speed ahead. You likely have just went and got your business because license. Because that's what that. the Google told you. That's right. what you need. That's right. <laughs> well, and OK. And that's wrong. Right. right. Because I get this all the time from folks like I'm just. It's just me. It's like it's just me too, right? And you also have to remember a lot of these corporations that started these Fortune 500 same, companies the same started way. off just one, one person, right? Yeah. But what you're trying to do is be a prudent business person, right? A prudent business owner, and a prudent business owner makes sure that they have all of the their necessary documentation. Mm -hmm. And so basically, everything that's in the corporate minute book are things such as things related to your formation first and foremost, right? Mm -hmm. So if you uh, had your name reservation, you get that information back from. Secretary of State that's put in here. Your filed articles of organization or your articles of incorporation, you put that in here. Remember, if you're a corporation, you likely had to end up publishing your notice of intent to form with the legal organ, you're putting that in here. Mm -hmm. um, you also have your operating agreement if mm -hmm. you are a limited liability company mm -hmm. or you have bylaws if you are a corporation. Mm -hmm. And then if you are a corporation where there are multiple members, you're likely going to have a shareholders agreement, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to put that in here. Um, also, you have corporate minutes or consents. Like, for instance, when you are for an LLC, limited liability company, I have the consent of the manager basically approving and authorizing the formation of the entity. Uh, approving the uh, operating agreement, as well as approving um, the unit certificate. 
Okay. Because and you'll find a unit certificate in here too. And sometimes I go, what unit right, certificate? But said, that was Most my people next may understand like a stock certificate, right? Okay, you okay. understand that? Right. Well, if you're an LLC, you have a unit certificate, right? Oh. That evidences that you are indeed the owner of the company. Okay. A lot of times when I'm doing presentations, I will ask, I say, prove to me that you're the owner of the company. People want to pull out a business card. And I'm saying, look, I can go to Staples. And right. Get a business get card to say I'm the owner. Right, I said, that right. doesn't prove that I'm the owner. Mm-hmm. What really proves the ownership is the evidence of that unit certificate, right? Or the stock certificate, right? Mm-hmm. Because that, if you, the uh, LLC, you're the members that are the owners. If you are a corporation, it's the stockholders that are the owners, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. so you evidence that by having a unit certificate. And I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the unit certificate for my company right here. Right. Oh. Where do you get that from? You have a corporate minute book, which you can order online. But what I suggest is you need to engage an attorney to be able to properly prepare this information. Because I was uh, with someone uh, uh, about two months ago who had the minute book, but everything was still in form, document, in form, you know, and things not, not completed. Actuals. And then she didn't even understand what was in it. And so part of what I know I do when I have these packages, what I'm going to do is I will draft the documentation, but not only am I going to draft it, I'm going to make sure I review it with you. Right, right, right. Because I want you to understand Mm -hmm. what's in how you're if you're going to have an operating agreement, you need to understand it. Yeah. Right. And so it's not just a matter of because we can all pull information offline and just right, right, right. We have no idea what's in it. And that's the problem. And that's the problem with written agreements in general, because they're complex. People don't want to take the time to read them and review them. And what happens is every word counts in a contract. Every word counts. Mm -hmm. And I was at an event um, probably uh, six months ago, and it had representatives from the State Department of Transportation as well as the Federal Department of Transportation. And uh, it was a panel. And one thing they mentioned was the what do they see as some of the hindrances with respect to some of the businesses? And they said they find that a lot of the business fail to execute on the contract. And so and that doesn't mean signing the contract. Right. Executing on the contract is actually performing all of the obligations on it. And the way you do that is because you have to read it to know, to know what, what you're, right. what you're agreeing And to. so what I thought was so surprising about that, somebody from that panel called me out in the audience saying, oh, yeah, you need to make sure you see an attorney. And what gets me about that is they'll throw all kinds of resources such as capital resources and everything else, but nobody ever throws legal resources out to mm. folks, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so how are they going to be able to get over that? Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. And so, you know, it's a lot of us out here who are trying to um, provide resources to um, the entrepreneurs and small business owners. I'm actually working with someone, um, Mary and Antoinette Ball, uh, on a resource guide of like the top five contracts for entrepreneurs and small business owners. And it's just going to be kind of a basic guide with some of the basic contracts in there, but also trying to help you understand some of those provisions, right? Let me ask about the corporate benefit. Uh Uh-huh. It's interesting that it's actually old fashioned and it's uh-huh. paper, yes. not electronic. Right. But you can so have what, that as well. Can you that's what I was gonna ask. Uh-huh. Is it the same is it, it any more benefit to have it all electronic versus electronic and paper or how how do I always you say have both. Okay. Right. Because I'll tell people when I give them uh, their actual minute book, I will scan in and have the electronic version as well. Okay. Because you never can tell what will happen. Right. 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 right but right. you know, a lot of times if you're having to go in and you need them for different applications because if you want to be certified mm-hmm. as a woman owned business, small uh, what is it, minority business uh-huh. or certified as like a disadvantaged yeah. business enterprise, a lot of the information that you need for the application is in that corporate minute book. Or if you um want to um, be acquired Mm -hmm. or someone Mm -hmm. to uh, invest in your business, they're going to ask for the information. Okay, so is there a package deal for this? Because we (laughs) we straight up (laughs) need it. You all probably have a lot of this information already. It's just not organized. It's not organized. One thing is geared to be like, do we have a million? It's in the email. I can try and find my email. (laughs) And and what I always say is I always put some extra of the little folders in here so that you can put other things in here too, like Mm -hmm. the bank signature cards, things like that. I mean, keep it in one place because that way you will not have to be and running around trying to find it. No, you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Look, I have enough of them right now that I'm like, I have got to do, you got to come get your corporate minute book. That's what I need to do, a corporate minute book day. Purge, right. Everybody come get their right. stuff. Right, exactly. Because I think what happens is when I send over the documentation for you to review, I think that just 
stomps them mm-hmm. right there. And I'm like, no. And then usually I have to prod them along saying, OK, what is it that you don't understand? Because my thing is, if it's something in it you don't understand, ask me. Right. I want to make sure that you understand. Right. And so uh, to me, you need to have an attorney that's willing to explain those things that you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so and I want to make sure that everybody understands that. The, it, you don't have to be a certain size in order no. to create a corporate minute book. It no. can be just you. Just you. It, it can, can be just you. just you. And it showed because I had a um, a good girlfriend who she had her corporate minute. I didn't do it, but somebody else did. Mm-hmm. And she said when she went into the bank to open up her bank account and she pulled that out, she said. Everybody he, stopped. Oh, he said, looked at her like, oh, and said she was treated so different from that point forward because it's like, oh, you she are truly doing. Exactly. She knows what she's doing. I'm going to carry my corporate minute book <laughs> <over. laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> What's that? What's the, no, I'm what, my what's own the line. big binder? Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, I mean business. Right? <laughs> That's right. Prudent business person, right? Wow. Okay. So and, and the good thing, at least from us, because this is personal, is that we have all majority of that information. Mm-hmm. It's just really all over the place. Yeah. It's just organized. If Google it. died tomorrow, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we can't we have know. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And then a lot of stuff we get, and I'm like, I don't even know what it is. Let me just put it, <laughs> put it in this folder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, just to have Sister Mills be able to look at it and be like, okay, this is the per. And actually, did you know? Because I know a lot of times our business name is spelled wrong. Uh huh. On a lot of stuff, they always put the the, the space, space in yes. between. Or they had, you know, the the address is wrong. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, well, it's probably okay. <laughs> but no, <laughs> so uh, uh. see stuff like that. Like right. the state of Georgia, I don't, they've got, I don't want to say, but yeah. somebody down there can't read. <laughs> 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 but it's stuff like that, that you think, you know, we just glaze over it or gloss right. over it. That that second set of eyes that should be the first set of eyes is like, you know what? We, you need to, you need to. Send this back. They didn't do it right. You need to have, you know, all of these particular documents in one place. That's just, I mean, that's totally invaluable to have all of that. So <laughs> we're going to put that on, on Monday.com as a task. Mm-mm, she better have an email. <laughs> right now. She's doing it right now. <laughs> right. Because we need that like yesterday. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, we need that like yesterday. So, so what we're going to. Take a break right quick, and then when we come back, we'll wrap up with other any other information that you want to put out there. And I'll give my phone number so they can contact me, because I am taking the 10% for this. I am officially her <laughs> agent. <laughs> so. No, but we need to make sure that everyone knows how to get in touch with okay. you. And how, you know, how you prefer them to get in touch with you because okay. you're just an invaluable resource. So we will be right back with the, is this the last one after this? Yep. Oh, oh man. man. That's what I told you. We did have a back. <laughs> we will be right back with the last um, segment talking with Sister Karen Mills Esquire. I like saying that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What makes America? You. Me. Every freckle. Every career. Every smile. Every tear. Each family. Each friend. It builds and makes us who we are. One community. Every boy, every girl. Each kink, each curl. We wouldn't change a thing because this is who we are. It's our differences and our similarities, our passions, and our fears. These are the things that keep us. These are the things that make America. Us. 
Our curls make us. We are America. We make Tangle Master. Hey, this is Sita and Garrett back with From Idea to Invention, and we are here with Sister. Her, actually, you know what? Every, they're gonna think she's a nun, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> we are here <laughs> with, with Karen, Karen Mills, Mills Esquire. So, and she is she has been like, to the point where Garrett and I are both sitting here like, <laughs> even though even though we, we know, know her, even though right. we know her, and then we, she's been our attorney for what? Almost two years now. Almost two years. <laughs> just the extra knowledge that she's dropping. I mean, she's, what is it? I'm not, I don't like that other word that they say at RCI. She's dropping nuggets. That's what she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's dropping nuggets. Um, so she's going to tell us, you know, finish up and just tell us any other things that you want us to be aware of. And mm -hmm. especially how you want people to get in touch with you. Okay. Go ahead. All right. you have it. So one of the other things that I want to make sure that people are aware, I mentioned earlier that every word counts in a contract, right? That's a T-shirt. Yes. Every, every word, word counts. counts. Oh, yes. And so with that, Lord, let me get this straight. <laughs> Sorry, but this earpiece. Right. Okay. And so um, one of the things I always bring up, um, I uh, is that when you're reviewing the contract and we're good at when we pick up the contract, we'll look for the amount Right. And we'll usually look for the term. So mm -hmm. if they told us a three year contract for twenty five thousand dollars, we're looking for three years and twenty five thousand overlooking everything else in the contract. Mm -hmm. Right. But sometimes I want to make sure that you understand some of those other important terms. Right. For example, the um, so if say in the a contract, it tells you that the term is three years, but it may be terminated by either party upon 30 days notice. So you don't have a thirty a, a three, three year contract. contract. You, you really have a thirty day, day contract, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to understand that that you don't just review the term without reviewing termination as well. Mm -hmm. And a good attorney may have other termination uh, provisions, but they may differ and may not actually be in the termination section. Okay. You'll need to review it to find out where they may be located, right? And always understand that whenever you receive a contract from another party, that contract is likely one sided in favor of the party that you're receiving it from. It's not their duty. It's not their responsibility to tell you what's wrong with their contract. Mm -hmm. That's your responsibility and your duty to review mm -hmm. it and let them know what's problematic for you. Mm -hmm. So, again, remember, every word counts in a contract. And I know for me, if there's too many words. I just glaze. <laughs> and you are not alone. <laughs> that, words, that's right. Right. And that's why you need to engage legal counsel, right? right? right to be right. able to yeah. actually review it because every word counts. Every single word counts. I'm going to have that playing in the back of my head every, every time. Word right? Every word counts. Wow. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out because if I go into Jenny's treats, then that, I think that's a whole nother show. Right. right. Only thing that you need to remember about this, and I always joke about it in my presentations. I said, people don't want to buy high priced legal services, but they'll buy these pecans all day long. So I was like, I'm going to go whatever is hot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That's true. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Says this, got to pay the bill. So, <laughs> <Right>. right. <laughs> So how, how can how can people find you? OK, what, what's the best way for them? Uh, best way to find me is you could I have a website uh, and it's triple W Mills Law LLC dot com. So that's M I L L S L A W L L C dot com. Mm -hmm. Also, you can contact me uh, via email at info I N F O at Mills Law LLC dot com. Uh, and I'm also uh, on LinkedIn as well, okay. just with Karen Mills. So you can look that up and you'll see we me featured with Mills Law as okay. well. Good, good, good. So I guess the other for, thing is, is yeah. everybody's going to say, so are you taking clients? Oh, always. I always tell people uh, when I have clients, I'm looking for clients. When I don't have clients, I'm looking for clients. So I'm always looking for clients. Okay. okay? Oh, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. And I'm going to let folks know is when you're when you're thinking about attaining an attorney there's all there's always the cost that pops in, in your head and do not let that deter you right do not let, let that deter you from having at least the initial conversation so that you can get out of your head and find out the facts of and it's better to know the whole story right right then you know 
and I'm from, how do you how do you handle that with people when they're when they are like they call up and you know they have an issue and then they don't address the money part of it mm-hmm. do you bring it out or what do you do because a lot of people like if i don't hear it then i'm gonna act like i don't <laughs> right. you know it doesn't really exist well, and I'll, I'll assume that everything is free <laughs> no <laughs> no see, no no not that? assumption <laughs> because all we sell is our time right mm-hmm. that's all we mm-hmm. have and i always tell people you know if i have a product or if you have a product you want people to pay for your product right right so what we're selling is our time and our expertise yeah so um i i learned i've learned to value that and um but i also understand i'm a small business owner mm-hmm. right and so being a small business owner I recognize a need that, hey, that we all can't afford everything at one time. Mm -hmm. But there are times you can just do pieces of things, right? Mm -hmm. And and you want to make sure you do things right. And what you'll realize and understand, too, is that when people see you trying to do the right thing, Mm -hmm. they really do try to help you. Right. Right. I mean, so we do. We work with a lot of folks. Yeah. Right. It because is. what you're doing is because you're hoping that you all will grow together. Right. right? Oh, yeah. That's so, so true. Yes. And, And the thing is, it could also, if you skimp on the front end it's it gonna can, catch you it's gonna catch yep. you yep because you're gonna pay you're, you're either gonna, you're pay, gonna pay, on pay on the front end or the back end and when you pay on the back end you're usually on the time crunch and you have no right. choice in the matter in the, because usually right. you're defending yourself in a lawsuit right your right. level of stress and you got through. a little bit more money then than you did in the front mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're gonna take all of it in the back end. <laughs> and that's a, and the thing is that's why i tell our, our colleagues my colleagues we talk about it all the time that a lot of times people don't value our service they don't see the value in mm-hmm. it until after mm-hmm. the fact then it's like, oh, if I had spoken to you before, like, yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a, I got a phone call this morning that, and and I and I ended it. Well, when he asked me my, my opinion, I said, you need to get an attorney. Mm-hmm. And I said, I, I can kind of give you what I think, mm-hmm. but you need to get an attorney that specializes mm-hmm. in this because the language that in your agreement that you're looking to sign. With this person Did of you tell another, them another cost country system, is? we will get to that <laughs> because I was I was thinking I was thinking about export and import, uh-huh. and I'll find and, somebody and, that does that. right, right. If not, it's right, right. But she need yeah, at least yeah. So make I'll, the I'll connection definitely, and definitely then let she him can know because right. refer him because he was going down his path. I'm like, dude, you about to sign something that right? You don't know what it says, and you're gonna leave some gaps, and he's like. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's why you need an yep. attorney. And then what yeah. people, what I really feel sorry for is when people actually think that the court is going to be sympathetic to oh. whatever, you know, like, Because oh, I didn't know anything. Right. And like, no, is that your signature? Like, yeah, okay. That's and all. You well, why are we here? Dang. Why are we here? Man. Can't go on good looks because <laughs> they do not care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we thank you, Sister Mills, for being here. Well, yes. Thank you so yes. much for having me. And we're just going to go ahead and get her on again for what what Tuesday <laughs> are you going late to teach a class? Right, we need to make, <laughs> make sure we understand <laughs> which Tuesday. <laughs> right. 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 Mm-hmm. And actually, because we'll be at another location. It will be easier. March. It'll be easier because. Okay. Okay, the Emory, camp, that. the Emory campus is closer. Isaac, did, did Isaac say we're going to be at a different location in March? Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he, he already talked about mm-hmm. that. Oh, okay. See, look at you coming that's in late. That's kind of, <laughs> well, I was late, so <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> but again, we thank Sister Mills for coming yes, in. Yes, thank you so home. much. This has been so, I mean, it's been eye-opening. It's been um, refreshing yeah. and just, you know. Just, we just totally appreciate it and I hope yeah. our audience appreciates it too because this is just it just makes it it relieves a la- lot of anxiety Good. it does That's yeah in it does. terms of you know being able to reach out knowing that there's a, a source and then too I mean because you're I mean you're a great person so oh, yeah. it's just it's it like just makes you know, it, just so makes much it easier. more easy yeah you. easy on the eyes Thank it's you. beautiful <laughs> right and she's lying about her age <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> but so we are going to I guess sign off now. Yeah, we're going to yep. sign up. Man, time goes fast. Yeah, this it's, it's, it's is a little too short. We needed to. Yeah. She'll be back, right? Well, she'll yeah. be back. Okay. That's right. <laughs> and so um, remember, y'all, do not hesitate and don't be scared to, don't to be seek, scared. seek legal advice because it's easier to deal with it in the front, front end versus the back, the back end. end. Because if you deal with the back off. end, They'll your take love, all your, your pennies. Your, your pennies, <laughs> your stress, everything. Kid, blood, <laughs> plasma. <laughs> increases. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but. CD and I would want to say thank you. Thank you all so much for, for supporting us and, and tuning in, and we appreciate it. And thank you again, Sister Mills. And, thank you. And to you all who are out there, um, as we always say when we sign off, 
Take care. Be blessed. And be a blessing. Love you. See you.